Another beautiful February day out here in Arizona. Got our pool cover on. And we started heating our pool about a week ago with our little pool heater. And that's only 17,000 BTUs. We got it from 49 degrees up to 64 degrees. And uh, then we decided to try and see if we have enough solar the way the sun is angling on it, to run our big 127,000 BTU heat pump pool heater, and we do. So right now, we're running this 17,000 BTU pool heater, and we are running this 127,000 BTU pool heat pump heater. And it is saying it's 60 degrees, 63 degrees coming in. And 74 going out. It's 73 coming into this pool heater after it comes out of there. And then it's actually pushing it to 74. So we're getting a good 10, 11 degree difference on what's coming in to the big pool heater and then comes out and goes into that smaller pool heater. So pretty good. We got our RPMs set at uh, 1700. I think you can see that. So we're at 1700 RPMs. And that's a pretty good um, place to have the RPMs on that. The higher you go on the RPMs, the less temperature it's going to heat it up to so the faster the water runs through it can't pick up that heat and we find that's kind of like a really nice sweet spot so we are running that with our 12 kilowatt grow watt and we are bringing in 92 amps on this 126 volt or 115 volt on the solar array, 4.9, right around 4.9 kilowatts. And our load is 6.25 kilowatts, which is just a little over a kilowatt. And 25 amps that we need that we're not bringing in on this, but we're bringing in. 38.5 amps over here on this EG4 charge controller that runs to our batteries and supplements to be able to run this. Otherwise, we'd just be draining our battery constantly of those extra watts we need. It's like 12, 1300 watts extra we need. So right now we can see that we're discharging at um, 0.6 amps, 1.1, 0.6, so it's just barely discharging anything, but it's coming off of that 0.7 amps or one amps is out of all five of these batteries right here. So if it's one amp, there's five amps actually coming out of the battery. So this is really not too bad right here. We're at 20, 24, 25 amps. I said 6.25 kilowatts that we're using and bringing in almost five. So just like I said, it's, it's probably about um, 12, 1300 watts that we are using that we need to pull in off of that. That's not bad at all. So in fact, this is bringing in um, two kilowatts, 2.04 kilowatts right now to be able to supplement that, supplement the amps on that watt, and then also keep our battery charged up at, um, we're at 99%. We've been running for about 15%, and it was at 99%. So we're barely discharging our batteries. Um, we could probably run this, right now it's 11.30, we could probably run this to about three or four o'clock, get our temperature up to maybe um, 
63 coming in right now, maybe 70 degrees, and then flip it back on tomorrow and raise it more. And this will take about a week to get it up to about 89 to 90 degrees. Then we'll be able to keep it with that little uh, 17,000 BTU um, heat pump pool heater. Um, we'll just run that during the day. We won't run it overnight, but we'll run our pool at around 1100 RPMs overnight on solar. Um, so we're not using any grid power. And then maybe once a week um, over the next four or five, actually about seven or eight weeks, we'll use this. We might need to use that for like an hour or two to get our temperature back up to 89, 90 degrees. So pretty nice having that we have 25.5 kilowatt hours of battery bank right here tied together. And then we have another uh, 10 kilowatts over here. So we have a total of 35 kilowatts um, that we have at our disposal. So pretty nice. Like I said, let's see, we are 92 amps. We'll probably get it up to around 100 amps coming in off of this and still hanging around 6.3 kilowatts and only using about 20, 25, 28 um, amps coming in off of that one over there. So pretty nice, beautiful day to be able to start heating up that pool. <laughs> Another week we'll be in it swimming in the first week in March. And that's what's nice about living out in Arizona. We uh, have those hot, two months of the year where they're kind of brutally hot. But after that, man, the other 10 months of the year, they're pretty nice. Uh, the months before the um, middle of the summer and the months after are pretty bearable out here. You know, as long as you have air conditioning in your car and house, it is very bearable. And this is uh, not too loud I, let's see probably about eight feet away from that and that's not too loud it's a it's a pretty quiet heat pump and then once again that was also running too so um very quiet by the time you get over here to the pool it's just a barely slight noticeable that you can even hear it so it's pretty quiet and it's quiet in this backyard so we got one solar array of 2,000 watts over there. Um, we used to have six panels just kind of hit, sitting up on the wall. We built the solar array there, and we'll be putting another six over behind this array right here. Those are those 12 100-watt uh, grape solar on the um, EG4 Signature Solar ground mount that I was able to get 12 of those on there. I'll be able to run that mini split and the motorhome off of those during the day, and then a couple of those um, EG4 life power batteries at night. So, got the spring upon us, and we got the pool being heated up. We are an affiliate with Signature Solar. We buy our products from them, and they do give us a portion of the sales. Um, when you click on the link in the videos, and that helps us to buy more products and open them up, show you test them out and then review them and that does help us out quite a bit so please like share subscribe hit that notification bell see you in the next video hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024